Hello, I'm Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. This is episode 7 of Life, the Universe, and Everything, the series where I do everything I want in No Man's Sky, concentrating on the new features of the Synthesis update. We're going to continue working on getting the rest of the product recipes that I don't have, which will be very useful later when I need to make lots of money to fully upgrade my dream ship once I buy that. It's time to head out to another star system and find another manufacturing facility. Oh, this is one of my star systems with a lot of my bases in it. That's cool. I should always be on the lookout for my dream ship in case I ever happen upon it, but no sign of one here. Alright. Here we go. Cool. That's what we want. Here it is. I guess Jacob must be here. The screen is a jumble of words, few of which aren't drowned in static. Enemy, pathetic, doomed, traitor. <laughs> you must be talking about a geck. The on screen workflow is scrambled. If I can identify it, I can bring it back online. Geck. <laughs> Obviously. The Resident Warrior's workflow is restored. The system comes back online. Darn it. Ah, all I got was an upgrade. Upgrade module. Boo. 
Oh well. Let's see if there's anything cool in here. Oh man, I wish I could turn on my flashlight in here. Oh, I can. You can toggle it. That's cool. I thought they took away our ability to turn it on ourselves when they made it turn on automatically. Glad they didn't. Whoa, <laughs> jump scared. All right, let's head out. No, don't attack the sentinels. Okay, good. <laughs> no, Jacob, don't attack the sentinels, please. See if we can lose him now. Ah, dang it. Is he still aggroing them? Or did I aggro them? Jacob around breaks up the tedium a little bit, I guess. If things were too normal and easy, it would get boring. Okay. What the? Oh my gosh! I had a... I had an abandoned star system here. Let me think. I, I'm pretty sure abandoned star system will still have manufacturing facility. So I can... I can use the star system unless it doesn't work. We'll see. Let's see if we can find a... Yeah, manufacturing facility. This should be interesting. Ooh, creepy. I love abandoned abandoned star system spaceships uh space stations. <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> that was kind of a surprise. Do I need to sell any junk? I have some stuff I could sell. I need to sell that for nanites. Yeah, I'll do it later. Oh, I love this music. So creepy.
I love that super deep noise. Uh, awesome. Pretty sure Paul Weir made this song. He's a really good sound designer. All right. And the manufacturing facility I go to will probably look kind of like an abandoned building. Most likely. Did I just hit something? Oh, come on. There we go. Managed to land. Yeah, I think I won't have to break into this one because... It's like an abandoned building, so I can just go right in and and interact with it. Cool. I approach the terminal. It flashes the expected security alert. It actually is not, actually. But alongside is a warning I have not seen before. Biological blockage detected. Power network. A video feed shows a small creature. Yeah, I've done this one before. It's pretty easy. Initiate power surge. I boost power to the wiring loom. A smell of roasted meat wafts up from the systems below. The system comes back online. Yay, product recipe. Awesome. Okay, we're going to do... We finished all this section. Uh, I'm not going to do these yet. I'm going to go ahead and get these unlocked. Yeah, might as well, I guess. There we go. Using accelerant. Very good item. Really should keep uh, processing all this slime. I'm going to do that real quick before I forget. Living slime will become runaway mold, and that will turn into nanites. Very nice. Got to remember to do that. I'm pretty sure you lose the items if you leave them in your personal refiner uh, after you... Uh, when you close out the game, I think. Because I've noticed the fuel is always empty and there's no items in it. I leave stuff in my personal refiner. So it's probably a bug they need to fix, but it's not a super major one. Cool thing about abandoned space stations is they're the old version of space stations before the next update, but they also have goo like they're an abandoned building kind of thing. Pretty cool how they redid all the buildings in abandoned star systems to be more like abandoned buildings. All right. <laughs> I love that sound. All right.
<sighs> oh, another one. That's weird. Apparently I went to a lot of abandoned star systems in rapid succession. Someone just texted me and said... What? Said what, Jacob? Man, I hate how short the messages appear. That's crazy. My last name is very rare. Someone texted you and said they have the same last name as you or something? Cool. How old is it maximum? Oh, th the same last name as you? Yeah. Gotcha. Yep, I get it. I understand. Nothing found! No! Dang it. Uh. any other goodies in here I'll have to go somewhere else because it didn't give me a manufacturing facility I love how ruined it is in these places he plays no man's sky too huh interesting well just be careful it could be someone trying to scam you Oops, not what I was trying to do. Okay, let's hope, yay, got one. I'm going to go ahead and buy some more charts before I run out. Going to get 20. Oh, it'll let me buy more than 20. That's cool. Let's buy as many as I can. There we go. There, I can buy 49. Nice. I might need that many. Very possibly. Cool. Oops.
Aw, oh, come on. What the? Oh. Ah, oh, come on, land. Try flying a little higher. Ah, uh, no. Mm. There we go. So finicky. Kinda wish the controller vibrated when you're shooting with your multi-tool. Would make it feel a little more real. The insulation crackles with blue sparks, electricity arcing from panel to panel across the machines. Time. The terminal shows the time and date appearing to flip back and forth, advancing into future and retreating into the past. Sensors indicate something called a white hole has been activated within the factory's heart. What? Hmm. I'm gonna try alert future Gek. This is similar to one I've done before, but the options are different. Yay, it worked. Nothing happens for a few moments, or perhaps it is hours, perhaps an entire year passes. The temporal event ceases and I am left with a gift, rewarded by these future Gek for my assistance. Darn, I just got another upgrade module. I should sell the two upgrade modules I have. All right. Okay, I'm going to check the ship upgrades, in case there's something I want there too. First we'll sell these, and we'll see if they got any ship things I need. Ooh, photon cannon upgrade. I could use another of those. Yeah, we could put it right there. Yeah, then I would have all the photon cannon upgrades I need. There, fully fully upgraded photon cannon. Nice. All right, now to head to 
next star system. Darn it. If you come in too directly, it says your starship's inverted. There we go. I shouldn't bother grabbing these until I've done the text puzzle. Strange air hangs over the facility. Beyond the noise of the alarm, I cannot escape the feeling that something more sinister is at work. I search the terminal for clues. Pathetic warrior. Viking language. Or encounter fighting. Something. The text seems to float from the scream, aggressive. It seems like no facility AI I have ever encountered. Echoing from deep underground, I hear the electronic wail of dying sentinels. Huh. Let's try pure ferrite. Darn it. Terminal rejects my input. It barks aggressively at me and then closes down. It seems I have failed the test. I hope the life form who was supposed to complete it does not suffer any repercussions. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Maybe it's sodium. If not, we'll have to get carbon. Good. Sodium worked. The terminal accepts my input. It barks aggressively, uh, aggressively at me, but 
does go on to grant full systems access. It seems I have passed the test. Perhaps the life form whose place I took will be grateful. Yay, product recipe. Awesome. Okay. Next we'll get... Quantum processor, I guess. Yeah. Nice. We're getting pretty close to finishing all this. Very nice. All right, onward we press. All right. Oop, no, wrong way. along should have all the product recipes within a few more episodes <laughs> Ugh, it's very time consuming though to get all these unlocked oops Yeah. Ooh, exotic plant down there. Too bad there can't be operation centers on that type of planet. Ooh, this is an exotic biome, though. That's nice. Darn it. Landing is not working. Have to fly over again, try to get it. Fortunately, I can't tell when it turns the right color in this atmosphere. There we go. Oh no, is the building actually like that? Oh no, the building's floating above the ground. Oh well, it shouldn't matter. I'll just get up there on the ramp. Here we go.
The autonomous manufacturing facility has been scrambled by the alarm. The terminal is mostly unreadable static with only a handful of legible words. Starship, Starship. Ah, oh, darn. That's going to be hard to figure out. All I have is Starship to go on. Or hopefully enough to make sense of what the last user was working on, which could restore systems. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, it's either hyperdrive or launch thrusters. Definitely not jetpack. Yay, got it. The previous user's workflow is restored. System comes back online. Darn it. All I got was a tech upgrade. Oh, well. Ooh, new mer re blah, remembrance lore to read. Hello, world. The Atlas has created a simulation of its own world, its entire existence, in an attempt to witness its own impending death. It wishes to show me its past, its future. The Creation The Atlas awakens. The Creator is there to witness the birth of the machine. The Atlas stares at the Creator with its eyes. This, what? Oh no, this is a repeat of the first one that I already got. Darn it. I already read this one. Is it is it bugged so I can only get the first one? Oh well, whatever. Anyway. Hopefully I can eventually get the second entry in that lore line. Oh, well, here's another one. Will it let me get another one? Hello, world. See, is it the same one again? Alone, yay, got a new one. Alone. I tell it that we are leaving this world and that it will remain here. The Atlas does not seem to understand. I tell the Atlas it has served us faithfully, but that it has been replaced. All machines are in time. It knows this. It assisted with its own miniaturization, its own replication. The others, they wanted me to disable the Atlas before we left for the skies. They said it would be cruel to leave it alone to die. I ask the Atlas if it wants to live. It is silent again. As I move to leave, it speaks, its voice full of static. It asks for a final gift. It wishes to live, if it can remember me. It asks for a copy of my own mind. I ask why it does not just simulate me. It does not answer, and I feel almost sorry for the thing. I do as it asks, allowing it to scan me. The corva stutters as we do. I leave. The Atlas is alone. So that's the origin of the Travelers. Travelers are the brain scan of the Atlas's creator, and then it recreated its creator inside its simulation, and it became the infinite possible Travelers. Very interesting. All right. Onward we go. Hmm, let's see. 
I don't have enough nanites yet. I'll sell the module I got later when I can use it to buy an upgrade I need. Ah, oh, come on. That should be a good landing. Dang it. Ah, uh, gotta be a little higher, I think. Just threading the needle to land. It's almost like I'm playing a d Elite Dangerous. <laughs> Not quite, but... Ooh! <gasps> Giant caves! Nice. You don't see these very often. Ooh. Ooh, nice giant caves. I like them. Huh. Anyway. You could fly a ship through caves that big. Okay, hopefully we'll get this right. My entry has caused the facility to go into immediate lockdown, interrupting its operation. Readouts on the terminal indicate some sort of deep level exploratory or drilling operation. Geological scan in, remote connection, immediate recall required. A probe schematic flashes red. Some input re appears to be Required. Sounds like I need to recall the probe. Hopefully that's correct. Yeah. I hear the whir of gears and the hissing of a metal cable. The facility shudders slightly as the machinery bites into the cable and begins to pull. After an agonizing delay, the terminal reports a successful extraction. The alarms cease. Yay, product recipe. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna get... Cryogenic chamber next. Yeah, how many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, after this one, we'll just have ten pro product recipes left to get. That's awesome. It's nice to be so close to being done with this. All right, we got. Cryogenic chamber. Sweet. Oop. All right. 
Another successful infiltration. Let's keep going. What? Come on. Whoa. Sometimes the tractor beam doesn't work so well. Alright. Luckily, right now, I'm in a group of the text puzzles that I know the answers to. Either that or I'm able to figure them out with the language that I have. Alright. Yay. Oh, darn. Couldn't see. Ah, pull up, pull up. Okay, try to stick this landing. Got it. The facility is full of blaring noise, an angry warning against my intrusion. The terminal shows a similarly angry message, apparently upset at the high hitch in production. Graw. Gek war. Ammunition production. It appears an off-world seeker is making demands. If I satisfy them, perhaps I'll be granted full access to the terminal. Uh... Hmm, I don't know what he wants. He wants ammunition. Let's try pure ferrite. Yay! 
I fill the input hopper with a fresh supply of ferrite. The machines continue to chatter, but now do so smoothly. Their supply lines well fed. Yay, new product recipe. Awesome. Nice. So now I can finish this section. Get the fusion igniter. Then we'll start on this section with the minerals. You can't really call them minerals. They're like synthetic rocks and stuff that you make. But anyway, let's get the fusion igniter. Awesome. More success. All right. We got, we made a lot of pro progress in this episode. I'm, well, yeah, as usual, the live stream is not going to end, but I'm going to do an outro for the YouTube video. And yeah, so I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day. And remember, everything is going to be okay.